hey my friends so today we're going to talk about how can you post to all the platforms you care about in just minutes a day how's that possible to be everywhere you know you've heard I'm sure you've heard that you need to be omnipresent you need to be posting more of your content more regularly and it's not easy to do that because creating content for all the platforms is is a monumental task the more platforms you add the more work it takes what if I told you you could actually do it you know in a few minutes I I take actually about half an hour to post to all the platforms I care about it takes me you know I post on LinkedIn I post on Facebook I post on Instagram I post on Twitter I post on Pinterest I post on YouTube and on on my blog now the creation of the content is not the issue here because you know you can create content in 15 minutes or you can create content in four hours it's really it's really up to you but what I'm talking about is repurposing one piece of content the video I do a video right I'm doing a video right now and by the way if you're listening to the audio it comes from the video so in the audio the audio is just the sound out of the video right and that's how it lets me create podcasts as well and if you're listening to the audio you probably want to go check out the video at cis254.jsgangon.com that's cis254.jsgangon.com go, go check that out and watch the video and go read the blog so that's so I did a webinar last uh, Tuesday and I'm actually doing another one this Tuesday about how to syndicate your content and being omnipresent within just a couple hours a day right and you do that and you can be everywhere and have everybody see you because that's that's the thing I mean if you're doing personal branding you need to be everywhere now I know that in the beginning you shouldn't be trying to do that right because in the beginning you got to learn the platforms you got to understand the the basics you got to even figure out what what does personal branding mean what does the attraction marketing all these things you got to learn but once you've got the basics which you know depending on you could take you a month could take you six months could take you a year then once you've got the basics and you've learned the platform you can start to share to multiple platforms and what I want to talk to you about is not the process of creating content for every single platform because that certainly is something that's that's valuable but it does take a lot of time and it, it's probably better to do different pieces of content but you know we don't all have time I certainly don't have time to create unique and you know different videos for everything and different images for everything and I don't have time for that and even though I know it's better eventually I know I will have time you know when I have the money <laughs> when I have when I know no longer have a job <laughs> I'll be able to do that but right now I can't and I bet you can't either and it's the next best thing is taking your same video and sharing it everywhere that's again that takes some 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 specific skills it takes some specific tools to actually do that right and you know that's the thing it's uh it's it's one of those things that 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 you got to figure out the tools you got to figure out how to do it right so I'm going to show you how I do it so you can do it too and you can see that it's really not that hard when you have the right tools in place so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so what do I mean by native content right I'm saying you can post native content on all the platforms so one of the things is that you can take a video like I'm recording a video right now and I can upload it to YouTube and then that gives me a link right and then I can share that link to to LinkedIn to Facebook to Twitter I can share that link everywhere right but that's not that's not native content that's YouTube content that I'm sharing everywhere and the platforms don't like you to do that so native content is basically taking that video and posting it to the other platform so posting it to Facebook directly like you just create a video post and you post it create a video post on LinkedIn just post it create a video post on Pinterest that's it that works if your video is no more than two minutes <laughs> and two minutes is pretty short right I do 30 minute video or so but and I so you can't share the 30 minute video like you can't upload that on LinkedIn on Pinterest or on Twitter 
but but if you had a two minute video you could do that right um so so what I do is there's a couple of things I do first let's just kind of show you let's just share my screen here and show you kind of what what ha what I do on on uh, as a process so where's my share screen there you go okay so the basics are that you know on YouTube I share these videos as you can see right here I got these right 244 45 46 47 48 50 50 like you can find all these on my YouTube they're the full the full videos like 31 minutes 34 31 30 31 minutes right those are the videos that are on my YouTube channel so on my YouTube then I create blog posts <coughs> that allow me that basically share those videos and I write text so those those two pieces of things that I do right are um they're they're not uh they don't they're not quick necessarily right I mean the amount of time it takes me to do that is based on how much effort I want to put into the actual content creation the basic content creation is the first step right the first step now I'm not telling you you can create content in five minutes that's definitely you know it, if you're online you know it takes a while to create content if you want to create good content there is one thing that I will tell you though is don't wait till it's perfect before you post it you can't make it perfect it'll take you it'll take you time to get good at it so just start posting I mean if you look at my my videos I mean if you go to my channel right if I where's the sort right here if I sort by oops let's move that a little bit down here oh I guess you can't doesn't matter can I see? there let's move the sort by up here okay so if you sort by date added oldest right it'll show you when I started creating videos and it was like the first was ha happy new year 2016 right those are the first videos four years ago it'll be five years in January and those were like the worst videos ever I mean I actually <laughs> it's kind of funny because I look at those videos today and I think oh my god those are like I was so like you know I, I looked stressed I looked like I was I didn't I wasn't comfortable I looked but you know at the time when I was doing them I actually thought I was pretty good <laughs> and that might just be me because I'm an overconfident person or whatever sometimes some say I'm arrogant but the thing is that the point is that you will not be perfect in the beginning it doesn't mean to not do it right just <laughs> just post it post your content post your content you're going to get better you're going to get better over time over time you get better right I mean you know these are all four years ago these the first year I did I don't know how many I did uh I can't I don't know if you can tell how much but but you know that's the thing is I started four years ago and I started doing this I started adding images on there I started doing this I started <laughs> it's like totally ridiculous how how much um you know how when you look at when you look back right at that stuff when you see how the difference it is today right uh anyway so that's the thing so you got to start just do it so okay so now that's the content now let's talk about the uh creation of the actual uh native content for the other platforms right so for example if I'm on LinkedIn I post this video here right so this video here is basically the so okay here's here's how I do it right so number one I create a blog post right so if I look at this blog post for example right here so I write this blog post up right I write it up I upload the video to, I well I, I record the video number one then I upload the video to YouTube then I uh create the blog post so this is just the text I just take this text here I write it up you know sometimes I'll have images other times it really depends on how much time I, I spend on the blog post but I basically write up a blog post about the topic uh I try to be uh you know consistent <coughs> but uh and 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 uh, relevant I guess you know try to make the the video because the thing is that I, I'm not that great at making it uh uh exactly the same because I record the video and then I do the blog post afterwards I don't I'm not necessarily you know in sync exactly they're kind of two different things so if you if you listen to if you watch the video or listen to the audio you might not get the same content than if you read the blog post or at least not the exact same thing it's not like the same exact I I have different anyways you'll see what I mean if you actually do read my blog post and listen to my videos you'll understand but the point is that after I've written the blog post then I can take this text here right and I can just go to LinkedIn and just create a blog uh, create a post I post this stuff here in LinkedIn right 
this is the beginning of that blog post right that that the the title the the first few words and then I have this that's at the end of my LinkedIn it's always the same I it's a, it's a footer for all my posts I always post the same thing like this it's part of my posting and uh then I just post the, I just then I take a video see this video is four minutes 50 seconds right this video here the original video let's go back to the uh, sorted by the most recent sort by most uh, the added the newest so this video here which is this one right is actually 31 minutes right it's whoops let's go back see it's 31 minutes 31 minutes 53 but in LinkedIn I just posted a four minute 50 second video now how do I do that right so I create a video that's basically I take the full video I extract the first uh four minutes and a half well plus there's something else I do but anyways let's just say I take the four minutes and a half because I want the video to be less than five minutes now I could do a 10 minute I could do a 15 minute because you know the thing is that on um, and I do another okay so I could do a 10 minute on LinkedIn because 10 minute has a max of 10 minutes I decided five minutes just for whatever reason I don't, I don't really it's just a decision I made um and the thing is that this five minute video I can actually post to Pinterest as well if I go to Pinterest right I get I get 57,000 monthly viewers it's not huge but it's still pretty good uh let's just look at uh if I go for example to my videos these are these are the videos I upload to uh Pinterest right so I do that on Pinterest same thing if I look at this these you see 197 314 views 150 whatever if I just uh let's see can I I'm trying to see if I click I, just, I don't usually so there's the video right and then it's the same thing I got the text right here this is the text from the 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 blog post this is the text right here from the video with three little dots saying you know there's more right and then there's a link on on Pinterest you click on this link right it takes you to the actual blog post right so that's the link to the blog post and so that you can continue reading because that one is the same it's got it's got five minutes of the video if you want to watch the rest of the video you got to go to the blog post right so I do that with Pinterest I do that with LinkedIn I do that with Instagram if you go to my IGTV uh, let's see I, <coughs> if you go to my IGTV uh, no that's my uh, story uh, I guess you go there and then we'll see in a second we see my IGTV right here so in my IGTV you see I do the same thing I've got these four minute 50 second videos right these are all I'm getting like you know not thousands of views I actually changed uh recently I stopped putting hashtags just to see if it would make a big difference it doesn't seem to have changed much I was getting like you know six four sometimes five views not a lot right not a lot but anyways that's the thing so if you're consistent everywhere it'll even it'll just grow eventually doesn't matter whether you're getting a lot right now it doesn't mean you shouldn't be doing it it just just keep going it'll grow over time right so that's so that's what I do on Instagram on LinkedIn okay and the process is is really that simple I just basically go in here and I start a post and then I take the text from the from the from the video here I just go like this I, I take this uh, maybe I go like this I take that I go over here and I paste it right here right so I <clears throat> just edit this a little bit uh, by the way I do something different than that and I'm going to show you how you can do this even easier than what I'm doing right now but uh and then I take the video uh then I have to take the the, the footer right that I have to take the footer from from another post and paste it right but the thing is that it's all about cutting and pasting and then posting right and then I just choose a video I go to find my videos I take the trimmed one that I have and I I post it right I'm not going to do that right now because it's basically uh let's just cancel that this guy so but that's kind of as simple as that I I am actually going to do an episode where I actually go through this whole process and record the different steps exactly like I do it and then I'm going to post that as the way I the way to share on all these platforms now the thing is that when I and on Facebook is the same thing I go to Facebook and I just say you know actually I've been doing a live using OBS which is not a real live it's a video that goes through OBS and that shows up as a live on Facebook that's like you know whatever a process 
but you can still just go to Facebook and just post you go to one of your pages right <laughs> I got a bunch of pages so I just go to this page and then I just you know create a post I just do the same thing I go here I create a post I I put the text that I want whatever the text is right and then I add the video and I go to the I take the short video right I, I want the short video I always want the short video the, the five minute one and then I post it right so I'm not going to do that right now because it's going to whatever but that's that's it that's as simple as that you just cut and paste right and can you do it can you do that yourself in in like how long does it take me to do that right it takes me like about half an hour I post the LinkedIn I click I cut copy paste post then I share in groups then I I actually create an article and then after that I go to Facebook I do the live I do the copy paste start the live which is just a five minute live during that time I go into my uh, ad account to uh, to add it to my custom audiences then I uh, share it on my I use my phone to share it on different groups in Facebook then when that's ready then I go to Instagram and I post it on Instagram and IGTV again I cut and paste <laughs> And then I go to Pinterest and I share it on Pinterest I actually also do SoundCloud if I look at my SoundCloud on my SoundCloud account I also do that there if I go to uploads let's just kind of show you right here see 42 plays it's not like huge but I'm getting some people actually playing my audios right uh upload my no my tracks oops sorry I went to the wrong place just the the your tracks right here okay so these are the tracks right as you can see I've got five five plays you know three plays four plays two plays seven plays I mean it's not again it's not huge but this is where I post and this is plays on SoundCloud by the way the SoundCloud you can you can share the RSS feed to iTunes and other platforms automatically so that means that you this doesn't show me the plays in iTunes it shows me the plays in SoundCloud so if I was to go to iTunes I could see if I had uh, how many plays I have there I haven't really checked but this is the other place I just upload here I just go like this I say where's the where's the upload upload right here I just click on this upload and then I get the wave file that's out of the video and then I then again it's the same thing I cut and paste the description and post right pretty much but I do all that in about half an hour and you can do that too in about half an hour the problem is creating the 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 the, the text so that it that it's really fast for you to actually post right and that's what I want to talk to you about as well is the process how do how do you get like if I take the video right the video that's in my that's uh, where is it if I go uh how can I show that all oh, right right let's just go here if I just show you this this video here right it's four minutes and a half and near the end right near the end there's this at the end right so I actually take less than four minutes and a half I take four minutes and I don't know 30 seconds or so of the video and then I add this 30 second clip at the end of my video and then that's my shorter video because I want people to go to my blog right I want people to get on my on my list I want people to see my content in my world and you want to do that too you want people to go to your blog that's why you want to that's why you need a blog you need people to have a place to go that's yours I mean they certainly can go to your YouTube channel or they go to your Facebook page or they go to your Instagram account or your LinkedIn page or your your Pinterest or whatever but the thing is that if those platforms ever get shut down or something ever happens you lose those people right that's why you need them to to come to your blog you want them to get in your list so that you own the traffic right so that's why I do this with all my content I'm I'm you know slowly growing my list through people that see these things and they're like you know I've seen this guy a few times now let me I'll just go check the site that he says you know and then there, and then like I said I put a link I put a link in the comments right here in the comments for LinkedIn on Facebook on Facebook I posted right in the description which I'm not sure if I should but anyways it doesn't I'm not really too you know I post a link right here in the actual description of the video and in the video it is the same it's like a it's like um a four a five minute video right it's a five minute video when the end it has the same you know uh, trailer or or footer if you will or whatever you want to call this um 
but the thing is that creating all those things takes time like imagine so imagine if you were recording a video every day like this right you do the recording it takes you half an hour to record it uh, if you don't do any kind of editing then you can write the blog post takes you maybe another half hour for that and after that you've got your content right but then you need to create a short video you need to create a video for like for Twitter I do the same thing on Twitter I have a two minute video because Twitter has a two minute 20 second limit right so I create a two minute video for Twitter <clears throat> so so you need that video you need the Twitter video you need the audio out for uh, SoundCloud and iTunes and those platforms for podcasting right you need um uh, you need an image a, uh, you know a, 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 an image for your podcast right so if I look at my podcast right I've got all these uh, images uh, my tracks right these are all these images I have for all these episodes right oh it's going to start playing that's fine that's all I wanted I wanted to go in here so this is the you know I have this podcast image right it says course income secrets podcast 249 and then the screenshot of the video right which I don't know <coughs> I don't know if that's the best or the, the you know the prop the the real good way to do it uh but that's what I've been doing right I mean you can certainly spend more time on creating these images but what I do is I take a screenshot inside the video at a certain spot and then I use that as my you know as my um, as my uh thumbnail right the thumbnail for my video in LinkedIn you can't select a thumbnail right so it's just the video in Pinterest you can choose a thumbnail so I choose a, th a thumbnail there um I could I could probably create separate thumbnails actually I'm gonna do that in in, in, a, in not a long time because I've been using a process where I run a command on my on my computer that extracts all these pieces for me right and that process um instead of me having to open up the video and then editing the video and then cutting out the end and then adding the trailer to it and then saving the video and then waiting for that to, to be saved and then <coughs> opening it up again to do the two minute one and then doing the cutting and doing the adding and doing the saving again and then going and finding a screenshot and creating the screenshot and then adding the the the, the screenshot inside my thumbnail for my my sound uh, my uh, podcast doing all these things right instead of doing all these things manually every single day I have a script that does it for me right so I just tell it the video and it does all the rest for me it does all the trimming it does all the image uh, screenshots it does the, even I do even a gif a, a gif right for a gif for for email for my email list all these things that are done automatically for me in the in the, using a script and you can do that too the way you can do that is by using the syndication platform that I I put that together for you right I put that together for me but I I made it so that it's usable for you as well so if I go to um you go to clickycourse.com <coughs> uh what you got to do there let's just uh, put the link on here so you know where it is where's the clicky course link so if you go to I'm actually gonna this is I want to edit this make it look I haven't done so if you go to let's just uh https well it doesn't matter clickycourse.com I want to make the background a little bit uh, different color here what can I make the background like a light blue like this no I don't know make it um make it uh it, it should be white maybe uh maybe like maybe like this there let's do that and then let's make it a little bit more like this and there okay that's fine just like that so clickycourse.com right you go to clickycourse.com and you're going to see if you go well let's open up a new I mean clickycourse.com is going to look like this when you're not logged in you get this uh, this page where it just talks about the welcome but what I would suggest is you go to more here and you go to syndication so that's that's where you're going to find out about syndication of content now when I talk about that basically what it is is a process that you can follow that all you got to do is you just got to upload your video enter your text and click a button right so that is the process to generate the assets for you so that you can then share like when you look at my um when you look at my uh where's my other uh, 
let's just go over here when you look at my uh no where am I over here <clears throat> if I go and I go to to here uh no what I wanted to show you is this if I go here and I just create a post and I look for the videos there you go okay when you look at oh oh I wanted oh that's I wanted to show you the list of everything um let's do that in Facebook then if I do that in Facebook I know I can it shows me the uh, create a post uh there okay so you can see that I have um I have these let's just okay so I have these files right I have these files from my syndication I got a a trim five minute a trim which is the two minute one <laughs> I've got the original video which is the full <coughs> the full video right here and then I got the thumbnail for uh the videos I got the SoundCloud or the uh, podcast thumbnail and then I have some gifs right they're they're just uh, animated <coughs> images right uh I don't know if I, if I click on that is it going to show me the is it going to show me what it looks like I haven't posted a this it it says it as a video that's interesting the video oh okay oh what that's weird <laughs> I don't know what's thinking it wants to post a video did I click video or something uh, exit without saving uh, anyways I don't know maybe a, that's how it works with Facebook I haven't used I haven't posted a gif and but the point is that those things are there and they're available for you to post but you have to create them right I've I use this process to create all my all my content after after you click the button you basically have all these pieces and the files you can download to the computer and you can use that to upload then I then I end up being able to do this which is basically you know post to all these platforms in a few minutes right and that's kind of how that works so how do you get that too right how do you how do you access this all you got to do is you, like I said you go to clickequals.com slash syndicate I'm actually going to edit this to show on the screen here so if you're if you're uh watching the if you're listening to the audio it's click e-course so c-l-i-c-e c-l-i-c-k-e c-o-u-r-s-e so click ecourse.com slash syndicate so s-y-n-d-i-c-a-t-e all right so it's click ecourse.com slash syndicate syndicate <coughs> all right so syndicate is where you want to go to uh to uh access this so basically it's free to uh, create one project so you can see how the whole thing works how it all works you just go here you create a free account you click on the create free account which will open up a register in theory if you're on Facebook you should have a button that says continue with with your Facebook account that's the easiest way for you to to register otherwise you can click on use email and put an email and password after you register you get an email you got to activate the account once you've activated the account you can go to uh, the syndication and this is kind of what it looks like I'll show you from here from my account if I go to the syndication oh actually let's go to the same page syndication <coughs> so the as an affiliate you can get commission as well so but anyways that's a different thing uh, but you know once you're there once you're logged in uh it'll you can click on the account slash syndicate and then you'll have your syndication so it looks like this to create the syndication so did I did that all I, did I yeah so once you've clicked the button to generate the assets you have all these assets here right if I I can download the zip I haven't generated but I can click on this to generate the zip file to download them all or I can just view them and use them right from here right I can do a cut and paste from here I can do a cut and paste directly paste it to uh, the platform and the cool thing about it is that I can actually uh, let's just uh, I can actually whoops I gotta write down here I can actually um what what am I trying to say I can actually all right so like if I look at the LinkedIn text right remember how I said that the text is um has a footer on it see this footer that's here 
the first comment right and then the footer itself right here this is already part of the vid of the text right so I can just go right here and I can take this and I just copy this and then I can go to LinkedIn and I can post it over here right I just paste it in here right gives me the same um all the hashtags everything else right so I can post that like this now in this case there was an image you can take the images out from the thing so that it doesn't uh, do that but um and, and it's like really it's that's literally that simple and like I said I'm gonna actually create a um a, ser a video that shows you my process of doing this from a to z I'll uh actually what I want to do is I want to split it up into a lesson so that it I can put it up as a course so you can follow along you want to know how to post to LinkedIn this is the process to do you want to know how to create the assets this is the lesson to look at if you want to know how to create how to uh, edit the assets how you want to do all these different things that's going to be available as a course right now because this platform is really new it's still in beta so there's still some things that uh you know you need to um if you might need to request access to it just uh, create a support ticket so for example if you go to the site and you don't see the syndication here if you don't see that in your uh, menu right there syndication then just go and create a support ticket just click on the plus here enter a support ticket and then just uh, let me know uh, can't you know can't find can't find syndication uh, link right um, I just create an account an account and I don't see it okay so you can just do that send me a sport ticket until the the the, the feature is completely you know uh, kind of bug free and it, it works I mean there's always bugs but still it's until it's good enough that I feel that I'm just going to open it up which will be soon if you're seeing this before that's that's it's opened up then you can just do a ticket like this you just click submit new ticket when ready and you can have access and like I said the syndication is super cool because you can do it really quick and it's all about you know it's all about simplifying your posting life right I mean like I said if I if I if I look on my on my YouTube channel right all these videos I post these every single day how is it possible that I do this every single day I have a job I have a I have a wife I have kids I have a life I have you know we so how can I do that well because I do it all on automation right I do all this on automation I post then I create you know my blog post right then I uh, like I said it's all uh, basically let's actually I want to do so one of the things I do by the way in my in my um in my process is I want a thumbnail of the video right now I'm recording the video and I want to create a thumbnail for this so what I do and I want it to be a gif that moves right so that's why I'm doing this I'm coming here and I'm gonna go scroll, <laughs> scroll down here and I'm gonna do a screenshot of me you know pointing at these things right here right so this is this is the content that I'm talking about this stuff here and then I go to my my um <laughs> I messed up again I want to make sure this is all ready now let's just close all this uh, discard I want to see if I can actually go and see this a little bit I won't be able to go this 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 fast here but let's just see for the fun of it okay so here's my content right over here this is the content I got on YouTube I got on 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 my blog I got on LinkedIn I got on Facebook right I mean this is all here and on even on Instagram and right? all this stuff here all these videos all these things are all here and this is this is how I post content I create an image with all this stuff in it right so I'm gonna take one image <laughs> from this as I'm like smiling right now and I'm actually gonna take a screenshot of this me pointing at these this content right there so that you can do it too all right so that's kind of how I do it that's how you can do it too and we're gonna see you in the next episode have yourself a great day this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.